All right, Steve from Steve M Outdoors here, and today we're going to look at how to read the stock disc on Swedish rifles. Uh, it's a question that I've been asked a few times, so I figured I'd do a quick video about it. Uh, so the stock disc was added to the Swedes to every military rifle uh, to give some basic information on its condition. Um, they more or less conveyed the same information. There are different variations. You're going to see two today. Um, and I'm going to look at two rifles in my collection, an M96 Swedish Mauser and an AG42B, um, and just basically tell you how to read the stock discs so that you know what the Swedish armorers at the time were thinking. So, picture number one, that's the M96 Swedish Mauser. Now, as you can see by the picture that is currently up, which is the older style of Swedish stock discs, and the disc is basically divided into three parts. Now, at the bottom, you will see a few words in, naturally, Swedish. Uh, the first means torpid, or the first is torpid, and it means spitzer, and that refers to the, you know, 139, 140 grain spitzer cartridge the Swedes were using at the time. Uh, over stag means impact above, and the letters S-T-R is an abbreviation for streck or point. And that basically refers to how many decimeters, and a decimeter is 10 centimeters for my American friends, uh, above or below a target that a shooter would have to hold at 100 meters. Now this area isn't always marked, and you can see on this particular M96 that it isn't. Uh, but if it did have a number, let's say such as one, that would mean that it shoots 10 centimeters above the point of aim at 100 meters. A 2 would mean 20 centimeters at 100 meters, and so on. Now moving counterclockwise to the right, you're going to see a small area that has the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Now this area refers to the condition of the bore. Now no mark over any number would indicate 0, which means you have a spotless bore with no rust or corrosion. 1 shows a little darkening, 2 would indicate a little bit of rust or corrosion on the land and or grooves, and 3 shows significant rust or corrosion without sharply defined edges throughout the barrel. Finally, 4, which doesn't appear on a disc because if it was ever rated a 4, that rifle would be immediately refurbished, uh, would mean uh, that the barrel basically needs to be replaced because the rust or corrosion is throughout the barrel and has sharply defined edges to it. So now as you can see from my disc on the M96, it has a condition 3 bore, though I'm going to be honest with you, I can't see a single spot of rust or corrosion. But the Swedes were notably uh, anal about how they graded rifles. So continuing on counterclockwise to the top of the disc, this basically indicates the bore dimension. So the top row is 6.51 millimeters and the bottom row is meant for 6.49 millimeters. Now an arrow over the number substitutes for the last number. So on my stock disc, the arrow is over the bottom one. So that means at the time that the disc was uh, attached, the bore diameter for this rifle was 6.51 millimeters. Now had the arrow, for example, been over the two on the top row, that would have meant that the bore diameter was 6.52 millimeters. Now, this will actually make a little more sense once you see the other stock disc for my other rifle. So moving on to the AG42B stock disc, you see that it basically has the same information. Uh, once again, there is no uh, holdover number after Oversteig, so that means it theoretically shoots at the point of impact at 100 meters. To the right, you see the bore is rated at 2, which again means some rust or corrosion on the lands or grooves. Though once again, the barrel of the bore in this rifle is spotless. Um, and moving to the top, now you see 6.51 with the numbers after it, and below 6.49 uh, and numbers below that. So, uh, on my rifle, it has more than one triangle on it. I always go with the highest number because I presume the bore got larger with use through wear. 
So you'll see a number originally over six over the eight, so that means it was measured at 6.48 millimeters. But through use, there was another arrow added right to the number beside it, nine, which means that the bore was finally measured at 6.49 millimeters. Seems a little complicated when you first look at it, and maybe I wasn't exactly clear, but I, th I think once you start to look at stock discs, you'll understand pretty easily the three basic pieces of information that are conveyed to you. Now, a lot of people, when they're looking at Swedish military surplus rifles at uh, gun shows and the like, you know, they look at the stock disc and maybe they see, uh, you know, a, a bore rating with a zero or a one and they think oh golly sh golly gee you know they're getting a pristine rifle and you know the bore is in immaculate condition what you need to remember about these stock discs is that they were basically put on during active service of the rifle so that could mean for an m96 anywhere from you know the 1930s through to the 1940s and for an AG 42B anywhere from the 19 well 1942 all the way up until the early 1960s so that stock disc is probably outdated because whoever owned the rifle after it was decommissioned from military service likely fired it fired it for many decades before it became uh, came into your possession so uh, those stock discs tell you the ratings on the rifle when that disc was attached and that could have been many decades ago so a stock disc which indicates a bore of zero or one could have been in pristine condition but through use and neglect or whatever it could be a three or even a four according to the Swedish armorers uh, which brings me to another point. I mentioned it earlier. Swedish armorers were incredibly anal about how they raided rifles. So something that to you looks like a great bore to a Swedish armorer could have been a two, which is, you know, kind of a middle of the road rating. So, uh, you know, when going to gun shows and looking at Swedish rifles, you know, look at the stock disc, see what it says but always inspect the bore with a bore light in your own eye so that you get a real indication of what that means. At any rate, the, like I said, a quick and dirty video on how to read Swedish stock discs. Uh, as always, if you liked this video, please feel free to like it. Uh, it certainly helps the channel out. Feel free to subscribe, click on that little bell notification. That kind of gives you notifications when new videos appear. Um, you can also find us on Twitter. The address is at the end of the video, Facebook, uh, wherever else. At any rate, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And as always, happy shooting, safe shooting.